there's one. I got him. Hey guys, Will with Urban Outdoors DMV. Anywhere in the world right now, be here with me, and I really appreciate that. I'm walking into Best Pro Shops right now because I'm an idiot. I went onto Centennial Lake and tried fishing Friday night. It was an absolute shit show. I didn't catch anything. I lost my pliers and my paddle. So, Sunday night trip to Best Pro Shop to get a panel to do some fishing today. And get over here, get done, and then we'll see you on the lake. All right, well, that was 80 bucks well spent. We've got a new Ascend tournament paddle. Just like the one I lost at Centennial. By the way, if you found my paddle at Centennial, enjoying good health. It's a very good paddle. I just bought the exact same as a replacement. Anyway, thank God for Bass Pro Club gift cards. Today I'm rocking my excellent Father's Day gift. It's my own merch. Expert Fisherwoman made it for me. The design was done by Sasha Marin. She's a family friend. She did a really good job with the design. I've been using this thing for a couple of years. I was going to try to figure out a way to put it on merchandise and stuff we were making last year, but I got tied up doing everything else with life. So we're working on that. We're working on a website. A bunch of stuff going on. Today we're going to Lake Kinnamacundi in Columbia because that place never gets fished. And we're going to see if we can pick up some of those topwater bass that are in there. All right, I made it to Kinnamacundi. Very good piece of good news. This place is also loaded with, I don't know if it's hydrilla. It's some kind of other nastiness. See that? It looks like... That drill is dead, starting to compose, decompose. But I got clear water, and I got lots of cover. Did you guys see that? That was a good one. Damn. Wow, did you see that guy? Did you see him jump out? Man, that was awesome. Too bad I couldn't land him though. This is gonna work. These big patches of hydrilla are gonna punch it with this uh, this paddle tail and green pumpkin. These fish are gonna eat. You'll see. All right, this is what I've been rolling with so far, guys. Nothing terribly fancy. Green pumpkin on the paddle tail. These fish love it. That one was, actually both of them were deep. They are hiding in these pads, in these big floating things of hydrilla. They are just hiding in there and they were lower. And then um, as soon as it got near close to the bottom, they just came out and just smashed it. Both of those big fish. You see that one? Oh, that's a good one. Okay, okay. Be cool, man. Be cool. Be cool. I didn't even see that one. Take it. He is, he's a good fish and he is deep inside there. All right, come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Easy. 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 Pretty sure, yeah, there's fish on there. Come here, dude. Come here, buddy, come here. Oh, yeah! Yes! Oh man, I didn't even see that dude. I did not even see that dude. Eat it. There's so much crap in this lake. But man, that is a good, healthy, beautiful, quality fish. Come on, buddy. He was hooked good too. He was hooked good. I could do this kayak bassing all the time because you can just sneak up on them and it's not a huge fish but I mean he is healthy he hit like a hit like a freight train too look at the mouth on that dude he's a solid two pounder nice healthy fish I don't know if you guys can tell well first I got a concert going on in the background because I'm in Columbia and there's all kinds of stuff over here but uh I'm getting pushed north like a winds out of the south and the bite was just absolute fire until it died off oh, 
the wind is just pushing me just to the north side of the lake. Another good healthy one. This one's smaller though. Nice little healthy one. Is there anything more? Is there anything more fun than this, guys? I mean, I know we spend our money. You know, we do whatever during the week so we can get out there on the weekends, on the weeknights during the summer, and we could do this. But is there anything more fun than this? Is there anything? I asked you. Oh, that one took it and I didn't even know he had it. It's a good one. I'm going to get freaking demonetized for sure. I can tell I got a concert going on in the background right in front of the hotel. Oh, he's not that good. He's, he's not that big. He's a good fish though. Come here, dude. Oh, come on. Yeah. Not a good solid one. Man, I could do this all day, every day. Another good, healthy Kitamakombi bass. Pop this hook out. All right. Thank you so much, baby. Put you back. tiny he hit like a freight train though he hit like a freight train eh. same size as a little guy I know I'm starting to lose light over here with this kayak. I'm gonna try this right in here. Comes to a choke point. I'm gonna fish it over here. See if I can't one get one good, one more big good one. How big are you? How big are you? How big are you? I don't know how big you are. Come on. Let me see your face. Get up here. I'm pulling a damn kayak towards me. Come on, baby. Get up here. Come on. Oh, shit. <sighs> okay. I know what you're gonna say. That there wasn't a fish. You're a liar. Just kidding. That was definitely a fish. Um, I saw something jump. There's a lot of activity in this cove over here on this side, getting in Columbia, there's stuff eating top water. So I threw it, swimming it, saw a fish come up, saw him take it under, and I set the hook and he went deep. Didn't start pulling drags, my, my still a little bit loose, but he started going deep and then he buried me all kinds of stuff. And I could feel him, I could feel the, the shakes, feel it. It's a good bass. And um Right before I got to the boat, it was like a little bit lighter and I still had a load of crap on there and I thought the fish was underneath it. No, it was not underneath it. Yeah. Alright. 
Get out of the crap. Get out of the crap. Get out of there. All right, this guy, I'm gonna land. Oh, oh come here, dude. Oh, whoa. Another healthy one. Well, it's like three or four fish in a row at one point. I think what the hell is going on over here? Oh, another good fish. This one is not, doesn't have any size to it, but man, they are, they are back here and they are feeding. They are aggressive. They are feeding and they are aggressive. Let's get a release on this guy. There are times in life where you just kind of have to do what you have to do. And I know that this GoPro footage is probably going to be stupid, terrible. I know that you're probably not going to be able to see too much. But there is nothing more fun in freshwater fishing than topwater blowups. And this is the first time I've seen top water work all year, and I got 20 pound braid and a live target frog. I'm sorry, boys. I should be going back to the boat ramp. Are you kidding me? You guys see that? see that? I don't know if it's a small fish or what the deal is, but it's the second time he missed it. And the second time I let him have it, he just straight up missed it. I don't know if it's small or what. If you guys stuck with me this long, you might as well see if I can figure out this top water thing. Come on, take it. I got him. I got him. He's not big though, but I got him. All right. Not big, but I got him. I don't care. Come here, dude. Yeah. Stop water fishing. Is there anything more fun than that? Hell no. Hells no. It's like the third time he came back. Yeah, he's tiny. Where is your dad? Where is your daddy so I can catch him? All right, guys. Fishing was pretty good today. Top water was working good. I got fish breaking all around me, but I, I, uh, I'm having a braid-related issue. I think I'm gonna have to go restring my whole thing. And uh, it's getting dark. It's a beautiful spot. I'm in the shadows of the hotels and the malls over there in Columbia. I got 29 behind me, the majestic sounds of Route 29 going through Maryland. I'm going to come out here again a couple different times. Probably in the next couple weeks because there are some big fish in here. Thanks for staying with me this far. Love you guys. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you ring the bell if you haven't already done that. I'll see you next time.